This segment proudly brought to you by XHP Wheels. Uh, my name's Sash from Mayan Racing and this is our latest race car. Being a big name in the Australian Ford scene, Sash, owner of Sydney's AN Racing, has recently teamed up with Vince from Ground Corp. And to get their name out there, they've put together a seriously tough XW. Having built an eight second XF drag car and a tough, blown XY street car, not to mention the Ford's big power customer's car, Sash's new agreement was set to be a big one. So with that in mind, they needed something with big power to let everyone know they mean business. How's a 1300 horsepower Pro Charger blown Windsor cram between the strut towers of an XW sound? Pretty good, eh? It wasn't that long ago, though, that the car was a basic Falcon 500 that needed a bit of TLC. Yet with the guys on a mission, it was soon stripped bare and sent off to the boys at Detroit Custom Body Works to be massaged back to original before being coated in ultra-white Juco. Everything that could be painted was sprayed to match and keeping in mind that the engine would stretch further north than the standard bonnet would allow, a hardwood cow scoop was fitted. While the body was getting done, Sash and his offsider Daniel set to work building the engine having it ready to drop in once the body returned. Starting with a four-bolt Manowar block, a scat crank, Oliver rods, and Aries Forge pistons were fitted to give the engine a capacity of 411 cubic inches. Working in combination with a pair of heavily modified Edelbrock Victor Junior alloy heads, a boost-friendly compression ratio of eight to one was achieved. And to keep all of the ferrier valves working, Isky Springs sync up with a custom grind AN Racing roller cam via crane lifters, trend push rods, and a set of Yellow Terra roller rockers. A monster 1050 Dominator carb sits on top of an Edelbrock Super Victor Junior manifold, and a crank triggered MSD ignition controls the spark. Getting to the best bit though, an F2 Pro Charger sits neatly off the block and feeds up to 25 psi boost into the engine once passing through a nitrous spray bar equipped front mount intercooler. Built by Fred from ProTrans, the transmission is a Chev Turbo 400 fitted with a TCE 5,500 RPM stall converter and it feeds the power rearwards through a custom Molly 3 inch tail shaft fitted with a strange yoke and uni joints. While the rear end still retains reset leaf springs, Sash did include a set of cow tracks to help the forward nine inch diff from shifting around under hard acceleration. Up the front, the XW sits proud on 15 by four and a half inch World Magnum Pro front runners and bounds on a set of Pedder's 9010 shocks. The rear tires are a much wider 29 by 10 inches and sit on a set of matching 15 by nine inch rims. The brakes are a combination of XF Falcon alloy calipers clamping slotted and drilled DBA discs all around. On the inside, the trim has been lovingly returned to factory spec. Yet for racing purposes, Sash has fitted a full roll cage, an RCI race seat on the driver's side, autometer gauges and a B&M shifter. Being a drag car, the exhaust consists of a set of custom 1 and 7 8 inch primary headers leading into 3 inch collectors. And that's about it. As seen at the Summer Nats, having the standard interior has its advantages. When you're not at the track and you just want to take your 1300 horsepower cruising with a car full of mates. To date, they haven't had enough track time in the car to lay down a solid number. Yet having visited WSID once, the car was more interested in going sideways down the track 
forcing Sash to shut down at the half track mark to let it roll over the finish line. Disappointing for some, but the AN and Ground Corp guys were wrapped because the half track shutdown ended up being a 10.6 second pass at a measly 90 miles per hour. So with projected mid eight second passes being the goal for the car, a little more work on the rear end should hopefully get it going straight. So with the car completed and shot for the cover of Extreme Forge magazine, you might be surprised to find out that the XW was completed from original to what you see now in only five months. And even better, as all of the work was done in-house for only $70,000. A sum which, when you're talking about a car with so much power, is fairly modest. So when you're out and about at Big Aussie events, don't forget to have a look around for the XW. It's the really angry sounding one.